Welcome to Fast Phonics Facts Number 3, Syllable Division Part 1. Today we're going to chop up some words. What did they ever do to you? Nothing, and no words will be permanently harmed in the making of this video. Chopping them up just makes them easier to read. If you say so. We'll chop a few, you'll see. There's a whole chart full, but we'll learn the first chopping rule first. No, not again. We won't hit you with all the rules at once. We'll just do two rules today. Just don't let them squash me. That's getting old. Okay, here's the first one. Divide between two consonants. And syllables that end in a consonant are short. Short? Yes, short. We'll look at some short vowel sounds before we chop anything. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U, sometimes Y, or even W. Watch this video. Here are some short vowel words. Bat, bet, bit, bot, but. And syllables. Ad, ed, id, odd, ud. Now, on to our first victim. Victim? Yes, victim. But don't worry, he won't be permanently harmed. We're just going to learn how to chop him up to better sound him out. I don't think I can chop him properly. It's easier than it seems. I'll walk you through the process with some chopping tips. First, mark the vowels. Now, we can easily find the two consonants in the middle and divide between them. I see. And now that the word is divided, it's simple to sound out each of the chopped parts. Each part is called a syllable. Okay, I'll try. H, a, b, hub, k, a, p, cap. Hubcap. Perfect. Now you try the whole process for the next word. Right. First, X marks the spot. Good job. Keep going. The non X letters are consonants. I divide between them. Good chopping. You've got it. That does make it easier. L app. T op. Laptop. You did great. Word chop. Hiya. Now, a trickier chop. I'm ready. Okay. One consonant, divide before. Syllables that end in a vowel are long. Long? Yes, long. Long vowels say their name, except Y, which steals I's sound. They stole my planet status. I can relate. Poor I. He doesn't mind. He shares well. See? Bay, B, bye. Bo, boo, bye. When A is at the end of a short word, it says ah. But when it's at the end of a syllable, it is long, as in maker. Is it time to chop yet? Yes. First, mark vowels. Then, one consonant, divide before. It ends in a vowel, so it's long. Timer. I want to try. Cool. He came pre-marked. M-A-T-R. Mater. I know him. Great job on Mater there. Those poor words. The chopping does make them easier to sound out, though. They don't mind the chopping. Their purpose is to convey information. They can't do their job if you can't read them. That makes sense. Here are two similar words arranged so we can investigate them and compare the rules. This is a bit out of my orbit, but it's all coming together for me now. Yes, two consonants divide between, short sound, matter. One consonant divide before, long sound, mater. You have to be careful, sound everything out. One letter can make a big difference. I wouldn't want the universe of matter or that cool car mad at me. I'll be sure to practice chopping words and sounding them out with care. All the syllable division rules and some exercises where you can practice word chopping on your own are linked in the video description, along with some other ideas for attacking multiple syllable words. We'll learn even more ways to chop up words next time. I can't wait. 